Well, you know, ever since I made a video on the beefaroni, Google's been sending me croissant recipes because I use croissant rolls in that video. Well, one recipe that looked interesting was mummy doll. And I thought, well, this would be perfect for Halloween. So this is my first attempt at making a Halloween-y mummy dog. Well, the ingredients are simple, just four items, mustard, croissant rolls, American cheese, and hot dog. In this recipe, you'll be using the Hebrew National Beef Franks, which come to seven to a pack, whereas most hot dogs out there is gonna be coming with, what, eight to 10 to a pack. So these uh, Hebrew Nationals are gonna be slightly bigger. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our Ninja Foodie all-purpose pan, and we're gonna put parchment paper inside the bottom. Uh, we'll be using parchment paper because we'll be flipping these uh, mummy dogs over and we don't want the cheese to stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay, this next step, we'll unwrap the croissant rolls. Now, we'll be only be using one half of the croissant rolls because we'll be making four mummy dogs. We're not going to be making the whole seven or ten mummy dogs. So we'll just unroll this thing, pop it open, and then grab half of the croissant rolls and unroll them. The first thing I noticed when I tried to unroll the croissant roll was that due to the production time, setting up cameras and the, the lamps that's uh, lighting the project, the rolls became awfully warm. So when I started to unroll it, it started to tear apart and stick together. But that's okay. We can mend it. We just pinched the seams together to form a rectangle again. And then once that's formed, what I'll do is I'll grab the pizza cutter. We'll cut this in half. So we're going to have two halves. Now, once we repair the two halves so that it's pretty much uniform, then we'll take the pizza cutter, we'll make five to six slices on each of the half portion. So we'll get that up with uh, between 10 and 12 strips. Now, each half is going to do two hot dogs. So my advice is that, you know, leave the uh, croissant rolls in the refrigerator until last minute so that it's, it's uh, cool and firm so that it's easier to work with, and it's going to be a lot easier to roll it on the hot dogs. Well, the next step is to grab American cheese slice. We'll unwrap it. And again, this is kind of warm, so it's better if it's taken out of the refrigerator. And then we'll take this one square of American cheese slice and cut it into four pieces. So it'll be one piece per dog. Well, now the fun part again. We start to make the mummy dogs. So I'll grab uh, one hot dog out of the pack and we'll start wrapping it. Now I'll start wrapping the first wrap slightly below the top of the hot dog. And then I'll leave a gap on the second roll so that they'll become the face of the mummy. I'll put the cheese down and then I'll start wrapping around the whole body of the hot dog. You could wrap it straight or you could crisscross it or whatever you want to do to it. You know, just use your imagination. I'm going to do a little crisscross and then I'll just finish wrapping to the bottom of the, uh, the hot dog. Now, when your kids are doing it, you know, they can have fun wrapping a hot dog and it'll be their version of the hot dog or the mummy dog when they're through. Well, here's one mummy dog complete. Now we just repeat the process for the other three hot dogs. And here's what it looks like, all four of them completed. Maybe the kids are more creative than you are. <laughs> Next, we grab our hot dogs and we stick them into the uh, Ninja pan. We'll be sure we separate them because the hot dogs start to bake up, the croissant rolls will start to expand and they may stick together. So I'll grab the pan with the mummy dogs in it and I'll stick it in my sling so I can remove it from the foodie once it's done. So I'll drop it in the foodie. And then we'll put on air fry. And we'll set it for like 325. And we'll do for six or seven minutes. But I think, you know, we'll do for six minutes. Uh, we don't have to preheat the uh, foodie at all. So that's a good thing. You just set it for six minutes and hit the start button. And we'll, we'll see you back in six minutes. Well, six minutes is up, and now we have to flip mummy dogs over so we could bake the other side. I think it's best to remove the pan from the foodie and then flip it over than trying to flip it over inside the pan. So I'll just grab the dog and start to flip it. Now, this one came out easy, uh, mainly because of the parchment paper. Uh-oh, these two dogs stuck together. Looks like they're lovers of some sort, right? They're holding hands, so we got to separate them, and then we'll flip them over. Oh. It caught a little bit, but that's okay. We could patch it at the end. We'll flip this other get last guy over. At this point in time, we don't have to worry about them touching each other because the biscuit is pretty much set up already. So we just transfer this back into the foodie. You know, in front of the looks of the way the uh, mummy dogs are cooking, I think 
we can only do this for four minutes instead of six minutes so I'll just set it for four minutes at 325 click the start and we'll check back four minutes later to see what this thing looks like it beep about well, four minutes is up so we'll remove the pan from the foodie well, it looks pretty good it looks all set to go now we'll just start grabbing these dogs and start putting them on the plate face side up because right now they are face side down so it looks pretty good now we're gonna have to you know adjust the bandages so that we, we could expose the face so we want to make it proportionally look like a face we take the mustard and put two dots in for the eyes there there's our first mummy doll complete we we'll grab the second one and we'll repeat the same process for the other three mummy dogs just adjust the bandages so that we could expose the face and then put the two dots for the eyes okay so this is my mummy dogs taking shape maybe you kids could do a better job on making the bandages look more realistic but it's my first time doing it and I had no idea what I was doing I think I'll be a little creative and I'll throw a little mustard uh, in between this bandage here so that it could mimic some blood more or some effects special effects here going on well, there she is and I can't wait to taste these things mmm <laughs> mmm this is real good you can add more mustard to it or ketchup later on and dip it, but this is actually really good. You guys want to eat part mummy? Here's a mummy. Mummy. <laughs> mummy. Here's mummy. Oh, yeah, huh? You like mummy too? <laughs> mummy dog? Oh, yeah. They look awfully good. They may not look pretty, but uh, they look tasty. Well, I hope you found this video informative. Please click the like button. When you have a chance, please subscribe. And thank you for watching. And have a happy Halloween and enjoy the Halloweeny mummy dogs.